Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth, and I, a little bit of clickbait there to get you to watch this video, so I promise to give you some good stuff. The secret IRA, what does that mean? Is there some secret IRA out there? Well, in reality, what I'm talking about is a health savings account. Now, don't leave yet, let me explain. A health savings account is something we're getting ready to start offering here at Jazz, and I wanna do a lot more videos on this because I only want to offer stuff to you that helps you grow, that helps you in your total financial picture, and I really think this is one of them. So in a health savings account, the reason we call it a secret IRA is because you're primarily using a health savings account for just that, your medical expenses. The money you put in is tax deferred, right? You get to use it as a tax deductible, uh, tax deductible on your um, taxes, there we go. <laughs> Um, as it grows, you can invest it. So as it grows, the money that grows in there, tax-free. And if you take the money out and you use it for medical expenses, there's no tax on that either. So you get that triple tax benefit that people love to brag about in the health savings account. So for that reason, it's kind of like a Roth IRA, but with a focus on medical expenses. Now, what happens is maybe you don't need this. Maybe you save and the money grows and it's growing and growing and growing. You go, gosh, I've never been able to take it out to use it for medical expenses because I didn't have any or just didn't feel like it. Maybe there was no big medical expense. Well, when you turn 65, 65, you're actually able to use the health savings accounts as a traditional IRA. Just pretend it says traditional IRA at that point because you can then take the money out and use it for anything you want treated just like a traditional IRA. It doesn't have to be medical expenses. There's a lot of great things about health savings accounts that we're gonna go through piece by piece. I'm gonna make a ton of videos on this going through every last detail, but that's one that most people don't know. When you turn 65, the money can be used just like any other retirement account. Now, you can contribute to a Roth IRA and an HSA if you like to. So we're working um, our HSA so they have no minimums. Of course, we can invest every dollar just like we do with our retirement accounts but you can have both. And what happens there is you have a Roth IRA that's growing post-tax, no tax when you retire and everything. And then you have an HSA which can cover those medical expenses or when you turn 65, it treats like a traditional IRA. So the two really complement each other when it comes time to start withdrawing money. We could play some games there to make sure that your tax bill isn't too high. Look, my job is to look out for your best interests and pretend that the worst is about to happen to you. A lot of people forget that. When I talk to them about their retirement plans and now health savings accounts or their personal finances, which we have amazing class getting ready to come out on this, uh, this free for our clients, I'm probably not gonna post it publicly, but free for our clients, uh, it covers all your personal finances. My job is to make sure you get your dough straight and I pretend like the worst is about to happen to you. And since we don't charge anything as far as our uh, hourly fees or we don't sell you products of any kind, then you know we're free to kind of work with that exchange. You don't have to be scared of me selling you something when I make a suggestion. I'm really only looking out for your best interest and just pretending that things are really bad for you. Well, if you like that video, we're just touching on things here with the HSA. Let me know in the comments below if you have an HSA or you're thinking about opening one and what you just don't know about, some things you might need help with, let me know down below. But in the meantime, take a look at this video over here. I really like this one. It's why 13.4 is the most important number you need to know in your retirement and we need to make sure you get to the 13.4, so be sure to check it out. If you need anything else, you know where to find me.